yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to it again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man As y'all can see, we got Vader parked up right there, man From the title and the thumbnail, you guys already know Today we are going on the first drive with the long tube headers Plus the LT2 CA intake manifold Plus the Roto Fab Plus cat deleted, catless first drive with all of these modifications that we just threw on the car um and we're gonna see what it's hitting for man i'm gonna be honest with y'all i got the headers installed the, a couple days ago and when i did them um there was a fat exhaust leak and it was like two o'clock in the morning so on my way home i was really cruising i didn't really get on it too crazy um of course we did like some flybys stuff like that but that was pretty much it i haven't really done a pull i haven't really gotten on the car um to see like how it reacts to all these parts that we just put on because of course as you guys know whenever you modify a motor you know what i'm saying by adding performance parts such as headers intake manifolds rotofab uh in cold air intakes whatever the case may be you're not really going to get the full gains until you tune the car so with that being said we're still waiting on getting the car tuned but i definitely want to get my first reactions for you guys um because i know you guys love seeing those kind of videos so with that being said let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick i'll show you guys the headers and the intake manny then we'll get a start up and we'll hit the road Sheesh. there it is y'all again shout out my boy 10 speed pre for making that drive we got the C8 engine cover on the LT2 intake manifold. We got the MSD spark plug wires, the speed engineering long tube headers, the Wild Hammer Performance GM E85 flex fuel kit with the GM flex fuel sensor. Um, the headers, the MSD spark plug wires, and the 85 kit all came from Wild Hammer Motorsports. If you haven't already, make sure you tap in with the guys over at Wild Hammer, man. Use promo code JI Wild, it pops up right here to save yourself some money at checkout. But yeah, man, everything was installed um, by either myself, my boy Creed. Oh my boy Manny, all three of us made all of this happen, man, and I couldn't even be more happy with the result, man. It just looks super clean. The engine bay looks amazing. I love how the speed engineering headers are burning, the colors that they're turning and stuff like that. It looks hella good. So with that being said, it sounds just as good as it looks. So let's go ahead and cut it off for of y'all. Five minutes later. MPP definitely the move. Oh my God. Bro, it's like 
because it has the MPP muffler on there, it's not raspy. Like, but it's like, it wants to be raspy. So it's like, oh, I'm so happy I kept that muffler. Bro, what? Bro, it sounds good. I don't know if you guys could hear the pops, but it sounds good, bro. I hope, I hope you guys are not crooked. No smoke with 12, we don't need no smoke. Sitting at idle, it has a very deep but quiet idle. Many unbearable hours later. So, taking off right now. Um, earlier, I was actually on my lunch break, so I was doing pulls, uh, you know what I'm saying, as I could get them in. But right now, I just got off of work. So, finna, um, Finna get some more pulls in for you guys. Just initial impressions straight off the rip, bro. I'm going to be honest. The car, definitely, I do feel a gain with the headers, even though there's no tune on the car, which is really surprising to me. I'm going to keep it a buck. Anyway, like I was saying, bro, honestly, uh, with the headers on, bro, I definitely feel a big difference. And one thing that I love about the headers paired with the MPP, uh, mufflers is the simple fact that the car definitely wants to be raspy you feel me it definitely wants to be raspy but since the MPP is back there it's like it cleans up the tone a little bit and it's just it's perfect as you guys can see there's literally no drone at all whatsoever and I don't know what car that has long tube header, headers and is catless since we had to cut the cats out. You guys will see that in um, either y'all seen it already or y'all see that in a future upload. But yeah, the car is basically long tube headers, straight piped all the way back to a X pipe and then the stock MPP axle back. So as of right now, sitting at the red light idle, we can talk. Idle in a right above 500 RPMs. We can have a conversation. There's no headache, no issues, nothing. Then if I hit a button, put it in touring mode. The valves will close. And it's dead silent. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's definitely a win-win for me. Um, and my girl because mainly my girl is the one who you know what I'm saying doesn't like the loud exhaust she catches headaches really quick um, so I'm literally just keeping the vows for her um, but yeah man as of right now just driving the car cruising is that seen that boy Londo but yeah man like I was saying with the MPP and the headers even though they're catless you definitely have no drone whatsoever tour mode sport mode it doesn't matter there's literally no drone you only hear the car when you're getting on the gas pedal and it's very very minimal it's very tamed and I love that I ain't even gonna lie all of the cars I've ever had have been straight piped So with that being said, since they were straight piped, all of them were raspy, all of them were hella aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Well, not hella aggressive. Let me let me not say that this car is not aggressive, but they were definitely raspy, man, and you could hear it in the tone. But this is just clean, aggressive, straight to the point, and I love it. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera back on when I can get some space to get some pulls in for y'all so y'all can really hear this car under load because I'm trying to tell y'all, I already know that the camera doesn't do it justice because when we did the open header startup in the headers install if you guys haven't seen that video man make sure you guys go tap in but when we did the open header startup bro it was insane like I'm talking about crazy and the camera made it seem so tame that I don't understand so with that being said y'all 
I'm gonna cut the camera back on when we can get some pulls in. Definitely finna lose battery life, finna run out of battery. So 